Elon owns the future of transport? Let's find out. As we know, Elon is the richest person in the world, but yet he is known for not throwing money around. One of the best things about him is he likes to invest his money instead of buying expensive things. For today's video, we have gathered a list of things that Elon has spent money on. So without further ado, let's dive right into the video. Tesla Diamond and Ruby Ring Elon isn't a massive fan of jewelry, but he has previously inspired celebrity jeweler Ben Baller to create a diamond and ruby encrusted ring. Ben Baller created the ring with the Tesla logo on it, only for Musk, which is worth $37,000. He gave the ring to Elon as a gift. It is the only gift given by Ben Baller to any celebrity. Heyman BMW M5 It's obvious that Elon is obsessed with cars, and he does have a pretty amazing car collection. One of the multiple cars he owns is the BMW M5, which is an upgraded version of the 5 Series sedan that packs a 560 horsepower twin-turbo V8 punch and comes from a long line of high-performance sedans tuned by BMW's M division. With a top speed of 189 miles per hour, the car is larger and heavier than ever, remains seriously fast, and is one of the best BMW cars for running around a test track. The car comes from an all-wheel drive, manual, or automatic transmission, a 4.4-liter force-fed V8 engine, and a 0-60 to 60 speed of 4.1 to 4.2 seconds. The car is thought to have cost Elon Musk around $110,000. However, it is currently unclear if he still owns it. Bel Air Home Thought to have cost the billionaire $17 million, this massive mansion is located in the quiet Californian suburbs of Bel Air. The 20,247-square-foot mansion has seven bedrooms, nine bathrooms, a giant screening room, a pool, and a tennis court. The home overlooks the Bel Air Country Club and is divided into four different wings. There is a large living room, and the gigantic kitchen has a brick ceiling and a large central island. The house plays host to a large home gym, and the heated pool outside has a large decking and entertainment area. However, he doesn't own this as of now, since he decided to go basically house-free because he doesn't want to own any houses. X.com Domain Name Let's talk about the second ever company that was owned by Elon Musk back in 2002, and the company would later go on to become one of the biggest online banks in the world. The X.com domain most recently belonged to PayPal, which confirmed that Musk had purchased the domain name back. The domain name was linked to the Boring Company website, and PayPal has not confirmed how much the domain name was sold for. Single-figure domain names are some of the most expensive in the world, and with the letter X being lucky in Chinese, you can expect a 7- or 8-figure sum of money. McLaren F1 Hypercar Another one of Elon's epic cars, which was purchased by him after he sold his company Zip2 for $300 million. He did not have this car for long before suffering a serious accident with PayPal co-founder Peter Thiel. The greatest and quite possibly one of the most expensive cars of its time, the McLaren F1 hypercar, has an average price tag of $12 million. Powered by a BMW 6.1 liter, 627 horsepower V12 engine, the hand-built carbon fiber hypercar is capable of a crazy top speed of 240 miles per hour. Solar City Rising like a phoenix out of the ashes, Solar City is a subsidiary of Tesla Inc. and is headquartered in San Mateo, California. Solar City markets, manufactures, and installs residential and commercial solar panels in the U.S., and is thought to be worth somewhere in the region of $3.5 billion. In 2014, the company announced its plans to build a $900 million gigafactory in Buffalo, New York, with the creation of 1,500 jobs. Solar City operates in 20 jurisdictions, Hawaii, the District of Columbia, and 18 other states on the West Coast, in the Southwest, and in the Northeast. Hyperloop so, the next expensive thing that is owned by Elon is technically still in development. The Hyperloop project was first conceived by Elon Musk in 2013, with a proposed route between San Francisco and Los Angeles. The Hyperloop system would propel passengers along a 350-mile route at an average speed of around 600 miles per hour, with a top speed of 760 miles per hour, allowing for travel time of around 35 minutes. Costs for the project are not thought to be cheap for the suggested route, and were thought to be close to around six billion US dollars for a passenger-only version, and seven point five billion dollars for a larger version that can transport both passengers and vehicles. Elon Musk's company SpaceX built an approximately one-mile-long subscale track for its pod design competition at its headquarters in Hawthorne, California, and a number of tests have already been carried out for the project. Anyways, this is it for today's video. What do you guys think of this? Do you find any of these purchases surprising? Let us know in the comment section below. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel while you're at it.